Hey party people, what is going on? This is BQ and it's the Impact Lounge. If you're stumbling across the channel for the first time and you're an Impact Wrestling fan, feel free to look around, check out the content. If you like what you see, hit subscribe, hit some thumbs up, you know what I'm saying? So welcome if it is your first time. So what I'm talking about this morning, this information, this news kind of came out a few days ago. It was uh, reinforced yesterday. Because people have been asking, now that Lucha Underground is coming back, what does that mean for Johnny Impact, Taya, you know, Phantasma, and, and Tejano, others that we've seen on our TV screen when we're watching Impact? First of all, I'm a Lucha Underground fan, but it is something I watch in my spare time, so I'm actually quite a bit behind on it, but I do like what they do quite a bit. And maybe being Hispanic myself, I, I connect with it on that level. But I really do like Lucha Underground. The uh, executive producer of LU has acknowledged that it wasn't fair to keep talent off TV for up to a year between seasons. So there was a long time um, between tapings. So now they're going to be a lot more lax because if you guys remember in the past, Lucha Underground talents were under very exclusive contracts. And Impact tried to work, you know, under the Dixie Carter regime, tried to work with Lucha Underground in the past, and Lucha Underground had wa Lucha Underground and I'm sorry, Lucha Underground wanted nothing to do with them. So now times have changed, and they realize that working with other companies is beneficial. So Lucha Underground, uh, their partners have announced that they're going to be doing talent exchange with Impact Wrestling, Ring of Honor, NOAA stardom so this is a good thing there's a lot of great talent on that show i do not know if that means that talent from those companies they you know they use the word talent exchange but i don't know if that necessarily means that uh talent from other companies are going to show up on lu we don't know that yet so that's something we got we got to keep an eye out for but it's good news for impact now from what i understand and I've said this a few times, the agreement used to be, well, if someone from, and, and this is when, you know, um, with Jeff Jarrett, how they started partnering with AAA right away. So they had to get start getting kind of lenient with the TV there. And at the time they said, well, you know, you can feature our talent, but they cannot portray the character that they portray on Lucha Underground. Now it's different with Drago, because I believe that's that was his name going into Lucha Underground. Uh, but Phantasma, you know, was he's uh, King Cuerno, on Lucha Underground, and obviously uh, Johnny Mundo and Taya, which is not Taya Valkyrie, it's just Taya. So they had to make some adjustments. And people have asked, what it, now that we know season four is coming, what does that mean for the talent? Well, it seems like now we might even see more Lucha Underground talent, which is probably a good thing because Impact is getting rid of a lot of a lot of guys right now. And I think the talent exchange with uh, with Noah and all them is probably the best way for them to go right now, instead of having a large roster of their own. You know, given the current state of the company, so it seems like everything going on with these guys, Johnny Impact, Ty, it's not going to affect anything on our televisions when we're watching Impact, and we might even see see more people. And I think that's a, I think it's a safe bet. Um, so we're going to see what happens in the next set of tapings. And, um, you know, we don't know where the next set is going to be. It's very possibly going to be back in Orlando. We don't really know. And uh, Lucha Underground is, there's a lot of unhappy talents there. And they're going to, they're, they're going to grant a lot of releases on their end. Uh, but the difference between Lucha Underground and Impact is that Lucha Underground is saying, okay, we will grant your release, but we have to write you off TV in the storyline. <laughs> with impact we don't we don't get that luxury people just disappear people just show up you know it's it's absolutely crazy it's a it's a madhouse sometimes but hopefully we're going to see some more lucha underground talents and hopefully we see you know legit talent exchanges because here's the deal magnus said this I, I'm, I'm not a huge like nick aldis fan by any means but he said this not long ago that you know 10 12 13 years ago there was the WWE fan base, and then there was the people who were looking for an alternative, and TNA had all those people. And then, you know, Ring of Honor came around, and now they're kind of sharing those people. And there's a lot of hot independent, you know, companies out there, 
And all these companies are continuing to share the group of fans who want an alternative. I, I'm to the point, I know some of you can watch every wrestling show. I cannot. I, I decided a year and a half, two years ago, that I was going to be kind of exclusive to Impact because that was the show I enjoyed the most. And uh, as I said, Lucha Underground, I watch in my spare time. But it's really, really important that these companies come together and they work together and try to build something. And what the talent exchanges are lovely. Uh, I've said many, many, many times, I don't want to beat a dead horse. One of my big problems watching WWE is watching the same matches all the time and every week. And that is a that is a magic that I love with independent wrestling when I go to indie shows. You know, um, and, and I'm watching Wrestler A versus Wrestler B. It, it, there's so many fresh matchups and dream matchups that you can put together on the indies that you really can't even put together in, in WWE. There's, they don't have many dream matches out there. But on the indies, there's, a, there's an endless amount of what you can do. Now, imagine these companies, LU and Impact and Ring of Honor, really buckle down and start working together. Because I said, as I said, they are all sharing the same casual fan who's looking for an alternative when you see i don't even know what the ratings are these days but let's say you know you see three million people watching monday night raw though they they have so many casual fans it's not even funny because the real wrestling audience is very small like the real the fans who really like professional wrestling it's a very small group a lot smaller than a lot of people realize and these companies are all sharing it. That's why, you know, Impact has 300,000 people watching. Lucha Underground has 125,000 people watching. Ring of Honor's weekly program has 100,000 people watching. You know, that that's not good for anybody. So if you can come together, you know, especially this is good for Impact because Lucha Underground and Ring of Honor is very respected. And Impact is not, you know, for the most part, if we're, if we're being real. They're trying to work towards that, but they're kind of not. So working with these companies and, you know, the right now, the way they're partnering with uh, smaller independent companies for the network, it's the way to go and to try to build some respect back with the company. And with the respect, will come more eyes, will we'll come open minds. And if they continue to do a good job and do what they're doing, especially the last couple episodes, I think good things are going to happen. But, um, yeah, I kind of went off on a tangent there, but Lucha Underground talent on Impact, it's safe. They're good to go, and hopefully we're going to see more. They got a lot of talent over there, so we're going to see what happens in the future. Thanks for swinging by, folks. Hit subscribe if it's your first time here. Peace.